Hello! This week, two happy-go-lucky goon balls learn to cook like a pro. You told us that the pizza in New York is absolutely world-class. So whilst we're here in the Big Apple, we're going to find out all about it, what makes it so special, and how you can recreate it at home. Come and meet our expert. So many restaurants here that make pizza specialize in like really fresh produce driven kind of style pies. So whatever's around, whatever's in season, they'll throw on the pizza and it's gonna like blow your mind. So we're gonna shop around, see what they got, and then we're gonna go back, make some pizza, and then we're gonna eat the pizza. Awesome. One of my favorite things to put on pizza is honey. Oh, wow. You've never done it? No, never You're done You're blowing it. it. Yeah. It's so <laughs> good. So we've got our greens, we've got our herbs, mm -hmm. and we've got some honey. Is there anything else that we need? No, I think we're all set. Good, Let's so go we, we've got everything for a world-class pizza. Uh -huh. It's now time <laughs> for a world-class view. I can't believe you're doing it. Yeah, I've been waiting for that all day. Now that is a world-class view. And to start our world-class pizza, we need a dough, am I right? A world-class crust. A world-class crust, well. yes. So luckily for you guys, I already made one. Oh, that's very kind of I you. I know, well I knew we'd be at the market early and it's actually better if you let it sit a day ahead because it develops a lot of flavor, it gets really relaxed, which no one likes a stress out pizza. No. So this is just flour and yeast and salt and water. And you don't even need a rolling pin or anything. All you need are your hands and some flour. So I'm gonna dust the counter for us. When, you, when you're working with it, try and use the back of your hands, like this, to kind of stretch the inside. Oh. Because you want the inside, like the middle of the pizza, as thin as possible, because that'll get the least amount of heat. So it needs the most help. Otherwise, you'll get like a soggy pizza. Another thing when you're making pizza like this, like don't even worry about getting it perfectly round. So we're just gonna get a sheet tray. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna oil the sheet tray, mm -hmm. olive oil. And then just, you know, slap it on there. sauce, right? We're not actually making like a stewed sauce like we would for pasta. <laughs> We're just using canned tomatoes that have been crushed. So okay. there's the tomatoes I drained off the liquid, crushed them by hand, and then added some raw garlic and a little bit of salt. That's so it's just oil. really simple flavors. That's it. I'm going to just spoon a little bit on here. And because these are wet, uh, you don't want too much. You, like, mm -hmm. again, like a little bit kind of goes a long way. That's sort of the name of the game. Okay. So why would you advise not using fresh tomatoes? Uh, they've got a little too much water, and they're also really inconsistent. So next, so we've got our pizza dough, we've got our sauce. Toppings. Cheese. 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 Wh which cheese? You've got quite a lot of cheese here. Well, you can hand me that bowl. That's mozzarella, and then that bowl as well is also mozzarella. So whenever you're buying mozzarella, this isn't string cheese. Like, we're not using the stuff that comes out of that creepy plastic. This is really nice, fresh mozzarella. Try and find the best stuff you can find. But you want about the same amount of cheese as you do tomato. So if you'll notice, our crust is very thin. Mm -hmm. There's a very thin layer of tomato sauce, yeah. and we're gonna do a very thin layer of cheese. Parmesan, king of cheese. This is basically kind of like our salty moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna bake a lot differently than the mozzarella. It's not gonna melt as much, so I like it when it gets on my crust. No, don't get carried away. We've got this situation here, and before it goes in the oven, we need to do two things. We need to drizzle it with olive oil. What does the olive oil do? It helps to crisp up the crust and also helps it brown. And cool. then, last, yes. our seasoning. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. So our ovens have been preheating. They're at 500 degrees, so they're ready to go. It's important that your oven be like as hot as possible, mm -hmm. and 500 is really what we can do at home. And that's how you make the classic New York cheese pizza. But now it's time to use all of our fresh ingredients from the farmer's market. So let's freestyle things, and I will put an egg on mine. Our pieces are almost uh, ready to come out of the oven. You can smell them, oh, right? Oh, yeah. So if we're going to put an egg on it, which Please. I want to make your dreams come true today, <laughs> almost when your pizza's about to come out of the oven okay. is when you want to do it. Cool. So I made a little bit of chili honey with that honey we bought. Yep. I just heated it up with some chili flake, um, and I'm going to drizzle pizza with it. How good does that look?
Um, I'm not going to lie, I think we all deserve a round of applause for this. Yeah, we did a great that job. Was... Oh, that's really good. Like, <laughs> so good. No fooling. I know you guys at home are just thinking, that's just a pizza. They're making a lot of fuss about just a pizza, but mm. honestly, that's the best pizza I've ever had. <laughs> I've been Stop. to Italy a lot. <laughs> Honestly, that is spectacular. Now, if you like pizza, and I know that you do, <laughs> and you have a group of friends who also like pizza, and I know that you do, and you want to become the guy or the gal who is the pizza expert in that group of friends, and I know that you do, <laughs> then this is the recipe that you need to follow. It's so simple. It's so delicious. If you want to get the full recipe, including measurements, step-by-step -step photos and instructions, all the details are down below. And if you want to see more of Alison, and I know that you do. <laughs> then head over to the Bon Appetit YouTube channel for the Sweet Spot series and loads more. Why make it weird? Is that weird? Or is that? <laughs> I feel comfortable. Good, for that. good, good, stuff. good, good. That's what we aim for. Simple. Go get the recipe, recreate it. It tasted incredible. And we want to see the photos when you do. So upload them with the hashtag Sorted Food. And while you're at it, other awesome recipes. Yes. More bread, not pizza crust. But this week we made cornbread. Yeah, with a salsa. And our Friday night big night in recipe was a Kothu roti, Sri Lankan street food. Doesn't look great, mm. but it's one of the best tasting dishes we've ever done. Authentic street food from Sri Lanka. And Carol and Duca were up to something awesome with coconut this week. Yeah, a baked coconut dish, kind of Portuguese style, um, really awesome, and cooked in Sao Paulo, some of the top restaurants there. The Sorted Food Brazil channel is awesome. If you're not subscribed, go and subscribe. It's like sitting on a Brazilian beach eating amazing food with two attractive people. Comment of the week! Yeah, I like this one. This mm -hmm. was on our strawberry not cheesecake video. Mm -hmm. And it says, from Potato, upon seeing Barry for the first time, my little bro said, I like him. He reminds me of a squirrel. <laughs> now, this is not the first time this has been pointed out. So obviously we're in New York, we have been doing loads of stuff, so make sure you go over to sortofood.com forward slash blog for all the other written blogs and vlog. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that you get all the updates and you see all of that amazing stuff. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let us know and we'll do loads more of them. Absolutely, so next week, have a great week. Ciao.